Hey guys, Chad back with another YouTube video and uh, this week uh, we're finally doing the review of Topps Bunt 2020 and um, Topps Bunt, if you don't know, is digital baseball cards. Um, I've had a lot of inquiries about it and basically uh, how I got into this was back um, I guess about a year or so ago, maybe even a little longer, a year and a half, uh, I found, actually, no, it goes back like three years, I found um, some Buck Showalter cards, and as you know, I'm a Buck Showalter collector, and they were digital cards, and I was like, what is this all about? So I kind of like went, nah, I'm not into that. I was kind of being, you know, old school, but then, intriguingly enough, last April of uh, uh, 2019, no, actually it was April of 2020, sorry. Uh, I went ahead and I signed up for the app uh, of Top Spun, and I tried it. And to be honest with you, it is really uh, addicting. It's something to uh, pass the time. If you have a lot of time, younger people obviously have time. Um, if you have a job and you know, you've got downtime during the day or something, you can do it. Um, it definitely something that you could do 24 seven because there's always something going on on the app. It's almost like a game uh, in, in that aspect, but they do have contests and things like that when professional baseball is being played and the cards are part of that. It's almost like a rotisserie thing as well. So I'm gonna show you, uh, we're gonna go ahead and on, on my phone, we're gonna go to the Topps Bunt app it's a little baseball and basically it pops up if Norm can get a little close shot it loads up and when you get to the to the main screen uh, and I will be honest the app does have some issues it, it's slow at times they do a lot of maintenance on it so sometimes it's not as quick as people would like and it, it can be very frustrating so anyway uh, this is your main screen and it, it, different areas you can look at like what's new you can look at the cards that have come out the store where you buy you know, or open packs of cards what you've recently got and there's all your activity bars which you use quite a bit also up here they have a section of free rewards and I'll explain that in a second and then the top uh, you can change your avatar on a regular basis um, you can use your favorite team you can do World Series opening day whatever also on the top there's a screen if you hit the very top <clears throat> brings you to your profile and in the profile you can display like your favorite cards uh, and things like that it also tells you uh, how many people are following you you got 75 54 I'm following um, Fire, now Fire uh, is interesting. It's basically based on uh, your collection of cards you have, and each card has like a value and so forth, uh, which I'll get into in a second. Uh, it tells you how many coins you have, how many diamonds you have, and coins you can get all day long. Um, they're free. Tops gives coins away, and you can open packs. How many cards you own? I currently have 26,230. <laughs> and I will be honest with you, probably uh, 13 or 14,000 are the free cards that, or even maybe more now, are the free cards that they give away. Trophies, I have 322. If you complete a set of cards and the award comes out, you get a trophy. And they're tradable, they're, they're cards as well. And then I have a rating. Uh, I've done 7,555 trades, and I have a four-star rating, so I guess some people don't like me, and that's fine, whatever. I totally do this for fun. I also have been on here long enough to realize that um, some people take this way too seriously. Um, you know, again, these are digital cards. You can never really hold them in your hand, but for those people who our 21st century that really like this kind of thing now to me I'd rather have a CD that I can hold and listen to but some people like mp3 so I'm definitely old-fashioned but anyway to me these cards are not real 
I mean, they may look like cards that you can physically get that top re tops releases, but it's different. But anyway, uh, so this is all your information, but I'm gonna go to the home page. And the first thing I always do every day is missions. When you click on missions, uh, it gives you daily tasks to do. Like if you initiate two trades, you get a thousand coins. If you craft cards, uh, I'll explain that in a little bit, 500. Uh, collect 25 cards, you get 2,500 uh, coins. Collect 40 cards, get 4,000. Uh, collect 20 cards, get 2,000. Now, on Monday, the reason I'm actually filming this today, <coughs> they have a weekly uh, task, and that's initiate 40 trades, which I'll have no trouble doing because I'm basically, I could probably get this today, but sometimes it takes people a whole week to trade that much. But I trade quite a bit. So anyway, these are your tasks uh, for the day. It has a drop-down menu and the week. And occasionally they have special things, like if you open so many packs, you get of certain product, you get uh, cards and things like that too. So anyway, I did all that to show you that activity. And again, I'm not going into detail. If you have questions on this, you can certainly email me and I will be glad to explain further in depth. But the first thing I always do every morning is I get my free coins, so I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit claim, and it gives me my, you can hear the, I turned up the volume, because I usually turn it down, and I got my free coins. So, that's the first thing I do. Then they give you a mystery box. So you hit that, and again, this is all free. You don't have to pay anything to get these. And it, it'll give you base cards. And there's basically six or seven sets of cards. It's the same card, different borders. It's like a variation that Topps does and you can complete you know, the sets. Um, so base card, base card, base card, base card, base card. Now here's a special Halloween candy that they do. You collect those and you can do stuff with that. Um, there's also a medallion, the team medallion you can get and you can do stuff with that. So <clears throat> anyway, there's my mystery box and my points just went up because every time you do something, you gain points. So then I'm gonna to go to the wheel. Again, this is free. When you start out the day, you, uh, and it has an hour countdown, uh, it refreshes every six hours. And you spin the wheel. And okay, opens up the pack, and I got a free card, a blue border card. Okay, do it again. Oh, I got some more coins. Again, coins are great. You open packs with coins, so you always want to stockpile as many as you can. Oh, and we got another Halloween candy, which again, you can do stuff uh, with these. So anyway, those that's my first three spins of the day. And uh, in 59 minutes and 19 seconds, it'll refresh and I can spin it again. So there you go. Okay, crafting. Um, crafting is basically taking, uh, there are different things to craft, okay, but your basic crafting is you take base cards that you get for free on the tiers, and you trade two of men, and you get one of the next level, okay? So obviously I've got all these from last night. It says claim, so I'm gonna hit claim, on, and I get that, and again, it's a physical base card. Now when you hit craft again, it tells you, you know, how many cards you have of each of these, and obviously I've got five of these, so I hit two of them, or you can, de uh, you can actually have the computer do it for you. I prefer just to hit it myself to know. And you hit craft and confirm, and basically, in three hours, I will get another physical base card. So, same with the level above that, and these are quicker. So, when I hit craft this time, I'm gonna pick two blue base cards and confirm, and it will give me, in 10 minutes, it'll give me uh, a tier five gold card. So, I'm gonna work my way down real quick. 
as you can see. Trade in two red borders and basically in five minutes I will get a blue border, one blue border card. So uh, this is the thing that keeps you busy. Uh, a lot of people don't like to craft. I do because it keeps your score up and also if you're just starting out you want to complete the sets because again it gives you awards for each set and you know some of the awards aren't worth much but it, you know it's a feeling of accomplishment so there you go like in 145 I'll get a base 4 card in uh, 54 seconds I'll get a tier uh, 3 card so that's how it goes and then there's these other crafting that they do as you go along like here is a 50% chance trick-or-treat you turn in two candies with the team logos on them you hit confirm and basically in less than 10 seconds I get a 50-50 chance of pulling a tilt card okay so we'll claim that Now, this is funny because trick or treat, this is a try again thing. So, um, you know, and I guess people are collecting those try again cards too. So, um, again, it, it's just something, you know, to keep busy with if you're bored or, you know, don't have a life and you really want to do this on a regular basis. I know kids, they're always looking for something to do here. This is a good thing for them. Um, I got another try again. Anyway, but there's like 15 cards in that set and you can do that on a regular basis, okay? So go back to the main page and I'm gonna go to missions and I use two cards in crafting so it completed a task, so I claim it. And now I get coins. Again, free coins. So um, just trying to see how many Task. But anyway, I won't do all those today. I really wanted to also then show you, I'm going to use some of my coins real quickly. Go to the store and starter sets, um, they have Legend, Die Cut, and the American National League All-Stars. They're small sets for beginners to put together. They're really not worth anything, but you do get the awards for finishing them and so forth. Then they always are constantly changing Boxes, Featured, Grand Slam, Weekly Sets. And of course, if you're going to spend money on this, I recommend doing it a couple different ways because I've tried all this. But you can buy diamonds. It'll tell you, okay, for $1.99, you can get 500 diamonds. Or for $2.99, you can get $7.50. So basically, every $0.99, cents, you can get 250 diamonds, which, depending on the pack you're opening, could be one pack of cards, could be four packs of cards. Just depends on that. Um, I don't recommend spending a lot of money on these because you can also pull cards, um, you know, free. So, like, let's open some free cards here. This is gonna cost me uh, 4,000 uh, coins, which I have 33.9. So that's not a problem. And basically this is going to open up a Halloween pack. And by all the noise, you can tell why I usually turn the volume down. But, and again, it takes the coins off my total, but it also gives me um, some fire. And again, more fire you have, the more... Oh, Well, there's a card I didn't have. Every time you get a card you don't have, it pops up new card. And there's another card I didn't have. And it'll show you what set they're from and how you're doing on each set. So, again, this is neat. There's a lot of different areas you can go into. Uh, I don't do every set that comes out. By the way, here's, I, I completed some more missions. I got 25 cards, more coins. I collected 20 cards, more coins. Okay, so now I'm basically working on the last two daily tasks and I'll also, you know, go to the weekly one later. The last thing I'm gonna show you um, is trading. 
and it, it's a great way they actually have a feed line on here with other people who do bunt and like this guy's looking for Red Sox needs so I would go into trade and I could type in on the cards I have Red Sox and you can control whether he has the cards or not. I try to do cards they need because he's looking for them. And like, okay, right now he has these two super rare cards um, that he needs, et cetera, et cetera. So if I accept that, and then I go into what he has to offer, um, I can look through and see if there's anything that I'm interested in and I really don't see anything he has that I would want. But if I did, I'd hit it and send it off to him. And you can keep going down the list. And a lot of these guys, again, you get to know people's names, their, their uh, bunt ID name. Um, some of the guys take it way too seriously. They get upset. They'll comment like, how could you offer me this for that? And But what what's interesting and I'll show you, the menu has so much to go into. These are legendary cards, okay? So these are more expensive, and uh, you can trade for them. A lot of people won't trade them. Here's Jose Altuve. So when you bring up the card like this, it tells you that you own one or not, how many there are, now there's 10 of these, and what rarity it is. Uh, rarity, there's usually legendary, Iconic, this is from top to bottom, super rare, rare, uncommon, common, and then you have your base tiers. Okay, and if you want to find out about the card, you card info, it tells you all about it. What the collection score is, it's 100 points for this. What set it's from, okay? Um, and, you know, some cards you can't pull out of a pack. So, uh you know, there's different awards that you get and things like that. I find that, you know, to be honest with you, you can go on eBay or some of the Facebook um, trading pages and trade with people. Uh, it's almost worth it instead of buying diamonds where it's just kind of random. I may get something, I may not. You can spend the money on eBay or do friends and family PayPal with people and get cards that are really what you want to do. And I... I think if you're going to do this, don't just spend money because you can go through a lot real quick. Um, it's easy to spend uh, 50 to to $100 a month doing coin packs and or diamond packs. So I recommend just going on Facebook, joining some pages, uh, eBay. Guys are selling cards on there. See what they're going for. Cards, uh, you know, can go from... 25 cents to, you know, $100, depending. There is some value in the rarer cards. So, but again, to me, they're all fake. I wouldn't spend $100 on that. But it's all up to you. So, my review is that, just that, it's a fun thing to do. You have to take it all in stride. And uh, if you enjoy it, you enjoy it. Um, I definitely know guys that have been doing this since 2012 they've had digital cards. So um, you can collect all the way back to 2012 forward. It's fun, something to do, and um, I recommend it, but don't spend a lot of money on it. So that's it, that's my review, guys. Thanks for watching, please like, subscribe, all that, and we'll see you next time, God bless.